Okay. Yo, what is good, jits? All right. Sorry for the the late start. I'm super sick, or not? I don't know. I'm. I was started feeling sick like two days ago, but I'm feeling like actually sick now. Um. But yeah, we'll keep this nice and quick. Regular ass day. We have news coming out. I think 30 minutes into market open. Um, prelim consumer sentiment. Last time this came out, um, market didn't do anything until it news dropped. Okay, so depending on what happens today, that might be similar. It doesn't affect the market too much, but definitely can you know give you a move. All right, so right now we're bearish on the one hour time frame. Okay, higher time frame. We're at a we're at a difficult kind of area here. Okay, so. On high time frame, right? This would be uh, the ideal position to look to go short, right? All the way back down here. But we're not trading on a high time frame. We really just want to know what's price going to do right the fuck now, right? Not later, right? We can, you know, say okay, we think price is going to come down and take out this monthly low, right? Which we've been saying for a while now. But should that affect our trading? Thinking that oh, we should take shorts. Look how much market already sold off, right? So that is that is kind of showing my bias right now. We also just have a lot of, uh, I guess, bullish confluences, okay? So here on the four hour, we have accumulation right within here, okay? This is, I guess, uh, a modified version of an order block that I just drew out. Okay, essentially just these two down candles prior to the big impulsive move up, um, just accumulation, okay? Um, I don't necessarily teach this, it's not that important, but I decided to mark it because whatever. Um, yeah, so we have accumulation within here, boom, big expansionary move to the upside, all right? Um, and then we have sell side liquidity right here, sell side liquidity right here and then we have buy side liquidity right here and this is the only buy side that I'm going to mark because all the other ones are like right here and higher um, and if we do have to change it and mark it so it's up higher then we can but um, for now this is really all that I have marked out high time frame I'm bearish but lower time frame I'm kind of 50 50 today ideally we find a bearish entry right um, but we don't know if this liquidity wants to get swept again, if it wants to push up maybe even higher. Um, right, I feel like the bearish move will come later, like in PM session and the AM session will kind of be like something stupid, like a short term rally, like something like this, like uh, boom. And then we go for bears like later during the day. Um, that's what I think and obviously we only take one trade a day so um, we're really only looking for one move today. Uh, and right now it's whatever move that the market gives us and that's kind of how we play every day. I'm not gonna lie. Everyone asked for the daily buys video and I explained it as good as I could. But really every single day you should come in 50 50 because whatever the market does upon opening you have to react to that you can't you can't just look at pre-market data and just be like yo it's bearish on the one hour so we're, we're we have to find cells like yeah that's a good basis to start off of like okay like look at your high time frames and figure out what type of trend you're in you know like where price wants to go right like we know high time frame this this thing is bearish right just literally just look at this um but that doesn't necessarily indicate what you're what you're doing on a day-to-day -day aspect because it's literally we're trading on the one minute time frame so we have to think like one minute traders not not the daily traders okay uh not four hour traders not one hour traders I uh, so yeah we got a little bit of a late start so market opens in like 10 minutes um, I'm sorry if I sound sick it's because I am um, and I'll probably be a little bit less animated today because I'm I just don't feel good um, <coughs> so yeah 
that's about it. I'll, I'll see you guys at Market Open. All right, market just opened. Um, we did not take out this high yet, or at least I don't think we did. Yeah, we haven't taken out that high yet. Okay, um, and something to keep in mind, we have news in like 30 minutes. Um, if you guys actually pay attention to that, you should. Um, so yeah, got news coming up in 30, we're just, chilling right now um we have this 15 minute high 15 minute low 15 minute low right here oh my god happy saint patrick's day you guys i completely forgot happy saint patrick's day i'm gonna wear i'm definitely i'm not wearing green right now i'll have to pinch boogie because boogie's not wearing green dumbass dog leprechaun got your ass Okay. The big ass dog. Okay, yeah, you're getting too big, Boogie. Move. 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 Get off of me. Move. Stop. No, you're. <sighs> Alright, Boogie. You gotta move it. Ah! You're pushing buttons on my computer, Boogie. Lay down. Ah. No, no, Boogie, get off of my computer. Stop that. Yeah, get away. No, not on that side. Yeah, good boy. Lay down. I'll keep my hands on you over here so you don't get overly horny. Okay, uh, something else I want to mark is the five minute order block right here. All right. Say less. We swept this buy side liquidity. Let's go ahead and start monitoring for some lows. I uh, this is our next low all the way down here. Okay. Um, yeah. Ideally, we don't have to take it off this. Ideally, it makes another low and then breaks that. Um, and then we also have another 15 minute high right here. We can go ahead and mark off these ones too. If it even wants to come up here, right? First it has to hit this, or even break past this. <gasps> Bro, I've been getting leaner. Fuck, I mean, my arms, you can't really tell, but like... Shit, like, my shoulders are, like... My shoulders are looking big as shit, like... And my forearms too, bro. I seen someone comment on TikTok the other day saying like, damn, damn, you used to be like fat as shit. And that was from like a video like a week ago. Bro, I didn't lose that much weight. It's because the camera angles like this. Like I still have like this shit. And also like this is like low-key a genetic thing in my family. Like right under here, every single person in my family has like, bro, like I remember being like 8% body fat, like literally dick skin shredded and like this shit was still there. Like we just have like an extra little like, like even if I mew, I know you guys are gonna try mewing. It doesn't work, okay? Like it doesn't push up that part. Like look, ready? This is just like mouth open. Wait, can you even see this? Okay, ready? Like this and then versus mewing. See, it brings it up a little bit, but it doesn't, like, do shit. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was funny. Like, yeah, obviously I'm not, like, insanely lean right now. But also, back then, like, I definitely wasn't fat. Like, I still have very visible abs and, like, like, I'm, like, I was, like, I was big. Like, not, not, but not, like, big as in fat. Like, I was, like... I had, like, the optimal, like, dad bod physique. Like, visible abs, but not super shredded. Um, yeah, visible abs, but not super shredded, but um, also, like, not fat as hell, you know? All right, yeah, we're at equilibrium on this. Uh... And we low-key filled this imbalance within here. 
You can either do stop right here or because this is a fat ass stop. Angle cap. I don't know. And we're going to get filled lower than this. Shit. I'm going to take this cell if it breaks. All right, I took it. Hold up. Whoa, one moment. Trap. All right, so I shorted. I got in like right here. So my shit was lagging. Alright. I don't like this as take profit one. I ain't gonna cap. But it looks like a good one. Honestly. Bro, I don't know. Hold on. Let me set my stop loss on this real quick. Shit slaps. I, I hella fuck with this song. Yeah, man, I don't know. This shit... Because this is a good take profit, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, I say we leave it. I say we leave it. Because who cares? Yeah, what? We're already up on the week, and... Yeah, no, that just makes sense. If anything, it would just help us secure profit, yeah. I feel like those little music mu mu <laughs> mucus monsters in those mu old mu Mucinex commercials, y'all remember those from the Super Bowl? Where it zooms in on like their nose and it's like the fat ass monster and he's like Bleh! And then they, they like take a Mucinex and then he gets like dissolved and like dies. I feel like a Mucinex monster right now. Alright, I'm about to open up a uh, 4X factory on my phone because um, I want to be able to see the chart and also see um, the news at the same time and see how it affects it. Ugh. So, news comes out in one minute and I ain't gonna cap like five minutes after news comes out like I'm gonna have to take a pee so hopefully like it does something and like we can secure profit or get stopped out because I ain't gonna cap man I gotta take a piss I I'm about to refresh this beach and then see what it wants to do all right so quick little spike up Still not loading on my end. Forex Factory does this all the time. It takes forever for their shit to load. Okay, so it was bullish news, which is unfortunate, but we can see what Price wants to do here. Bullish news, I feel like we would have to, like, I don't know. I feel like every time news comes out, it's always, like, a fake out to the upside of, like, you know, or a fake out to whatever side it's supposed to go to, and then it goes down and takes out liquidity and then actually goes. But we'll see what this wants to do if it just wants to go. Very well could just do that. I, I just got stopped out. Hey, fat ass L for the day. Um, 
it's just news. Um, I don't think there's really anything else I could have done on that. Um, yeah, I mean, there was really nothing. That's why I was going on the higher time frames. I was like, is there anything? And it's like, not really. So, brutal. Took a, took a nice little L. Um, I lost 3.5k on that, so still definitely up on the week, but we only traded three times this week. This pretty much matched um, one of the wins that I took this week, so literally just like pretty much equivalent to one win on the week um, because two, one win and the loss uh, canceled each other out. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me. Um, we can look at uh, news right now to show you guys. So actual was less than forecast. Greater than forecast is good for currency. Less than less than forecast bad for currency. Good for the S and P. In turn, causing the S and P to go up. Um, in terms of like avoiding this, you, like there's really nothing you can do. Um, that was a, that's like an everyday type of setup. Sweep of 15 minute high, bearish bias too, right? We were bearish on the one hour and high time frame. Um, so yeah, I like that trade. Nothing wrong with that. Um, just a losing day. And that's something that you got to deal with. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, I can turn chat on and we can talk for a little bit but i am sick as hell so i kind of want to go to the gym and um bro said scam said nice l yeah toss up the l i know i know i know i know i know see it's okay because i feel i feel fine posting this i feel fine posting this on youtube because we have too many damn wins on the youtube I feel like people would think we're cherry picking. So yeah, throw up the L's, make them know that this is definitely, why are you putting W's? We lost, um, but yeah. Bro said my port is gone. Yeah, y'all are y'all were joking about, or y'all weren't joking about full porting. Yeah, you might get paid every now and then, but sheesh. <laughs> 